Hello, my friends. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're doing good. I hope you're ready for another YouTube video from your old buddy, Dadcraft73. We're back here in the sky playing some 1.10. Mod of Minecraft, man, you know we're playing Sky Factory 3. That is for sure and for certain. No question about it. Man, I've been doing some work. I'm actually trying to get a video out to you guys. And man, sometimes it just doesn't go your way. You know, and it has nothing to do with like building or like falling into the void or anything like that. It just has to do with something isn't gelling whenever you're making some videos. And I mean, <laughs> I think for the most part some things aren't gelling a lot of times when I'm making videos but I'm trying to do some stuff and I had some video recorded and I went back and you know I wasn't happy with it and I erased the whole thing I was like you know this is junk this is horrible video I can't even try to pretend like this was an episode so we're gonna do a little show and tell at the beginning of this episode and then we've got a pretty big project that we're gonna try to work on today now I'm not exactly sure hmm how it's gonna how it's gonna work out but we're gonna give it a go all right so first of all here's the here's what I've got going on I've got a fusion crafting set up down here and these are wyvern fusion crafting injectors so if we look here and look at fusion crafting injectors we have this is the recipe for the basic ones so it's just a couple diamonds some stone some a block of iron and a draconic core draconic core is just this stuff right there pretty simple so I made nine of those right easy and then I made this fusion crafting core which is just some lapis lazuli blocks another draconic core and some diamonds and I set it here on a crystal chest with one of those extra utilities deals sitting on coming out of the fusion crafting core just so anything that I make can be output in the chest working like a dream and originally before I just tore it down a few minutes ago I had sitting up here a whole bunch of HV wire connectors and some wire connected to a relay which was connected to a power cell right and I, that's how I was driving all the power so I had to upgrade these to Wyvern and let's take a look here Wyvern we had to actually use the fusion crafting setup we needed a Wyvern core we needed some dr a draconic block we needed two draconic cores and then four diamonds and then you use this as the starting and it comes out with one of these wyvern deals the only thing that's really sketchy here we've already learned how to make draconic cores wyvern cores required a nether star so that means i went and killed myself 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 a bunch of withers and i built a new wither killing platform so there's two things one one of my patrons randy was like hey man i figured out how to build one of those wither killing things where the wither doesn't escape make it five by five on the ground seven high and then there's enough air blocks above it i think tr suggested something like that i think he said that you could do it with a lot fewer blocks but it definitely included having some air blocks in there because when the wither spawns he wants to go shooting up in the air and if there's not an air block there he'll just glitch right through the blocks and that's what happened over there so anyway that's been done i want to take in here and show you it because oh before we do that so before we go in there so i killed some withers i was able to get these upgraded to wyvern uh, wyvern level and the reason i wanted them to be wyvern level was so i can make a piece of awakened draconium so to make awakened draconium you need some draconic cores which we already know how to make you know they're the easy ones right they're just that so we made it made six of those and then we took six draconium blocks and put it in this wyvern level crafting deal so put all those one in each one of those things put the four draconium blocks in there and then let it go and let me tell you something when you're using a power cell and some of these crazy like aluminum high voltage wires from immersive engineering and you're trying to pump 350 million RF through this thing it takes a long time and it did indeed it probably took at least two hours <laughs> at the rate that I was transferring at one point I figured I was just gonna stop the whole thing but yeah that's no good I just let it run and just messed around went AFK for a little bit did some little odds and ends around the base uh, and also well that was it really I just did some stuff you know hanging out in real life I 
emptied the dishwasher and filled it back up again and straightened up the kitchen and stuff like that while that thing was ticking and talking along it took forever so let me take you inside the nether here and i'm going to show you my setup that i have for the wither killing thing and I'm going to tell you why I needed a piece of some Awakened Draconium. Because we're not really at the point in the mod pack. I mean, we're close. We still need to get some more power generation to mass produce that stuff. And we have to get to the point where we can kill the dragon a lot easier. But we're not really at the point where we can use large quantities of uh, Awakened Draconium. But... The reason I wanted uh, a cup, at least I needed three blocks, or four blocks, was to make the mob grinder from Draconic Evolution. So if we take a look here, uh, the mob, let's actually, I'll show you the recipe. Recipe, uh, mob, oh my goodness, mob grinder. So to make the mob grinder, we need a uh, Draconic Evolution generator, which is nether brick and iron and a furnace and another one of those Draconic cores, which again, we know how to make now. And then we needed some diamonds, a wyvern core, which was a nether star, and then three or four pieces of awakened draconium. So I got that after waiting forever, I got that single, those couple pieces of awakened draconium, was able to make the mob grinder, and then around the backside here, I have it tied to a power cell. It's got 5 million RF ready for doing whatever. This thing takes 500,000 RF. I'm not sure exactly how much it takes to kill a wither. But I think it's a good a good amount. The cool thing there is it'll one shot the wither, right? Wither spawns as soon as it goes active, pa ka cow, dead, <laughs> dead, dead. All right, so and there's my setup that I use. It's got a double layer on the roof just so it's good to go, and then inside here it's got an interior dimension. If I can get in, of what one two three four four works great. It's a little sketchy. I mean, I get some damage here if I stand here. And I've got these little, like, peekaboo holes that I could kind of run around. I could probably knock the rest of this layer out and be okay. But we're going to auto, auto kill them. So what the whole purpose of that whole thing was to set up a system where we could auto spawn the wither. Well, auto kill the wither. And we didn't have to be around to do it. And now we got to get to the point where we can auto kill it. Okay, so let's go back to the base. We have a couple things we need to get together, and then we're going to try to set up a system where we can automatically kill this wither. And I think we're going to be able to do it. I hope so. One of you guys asked in the most recent video, hey, is there an easy way to do it? Obviously, the first step, which I don't know how easy it is. I mean, it just really takes time if you've got some basic infrastructure and have killed the dragon at least once because you need the dragon heart to make Awaken Draconium. You can make that mob grinder. And that simplifies the killing of the wither. I mean, it gets done like immediately, like quick, fast, in a hurry. But if we want to auto-spawn the wither, we're going to need some things. So let's take a look here. So I made myself seven of these actually additions block placers. We're going to grab those. Let me show you what the recipe is. It's just cobblestone. It's a basic coil, which is Restonia crystal. Remember, Restonia crystal is redstone in front of the atomic reconstructor. And then you get that. And then black quartz is black quartz dust that's been smelted that we're getting from sieving and from wherever else. And then we needed a piece of uh, palace crystal. And palace is the same thing. Palace is lapis in front of the, the deal, the um, atomic reconstructor. So made those pretty simple, right? Now, the other thing that we made is a timer. And I made both types. So I was messing around with some stuff. We're going to grab this one right here from Dark Utilities. We need some redstone dust. Let's get that. We also need some repeaters. Let's grab these guys. We're going to need some conduit. Let's get some item conduit out of there. We're also going to need... Um, what? A chest. And we're just going to get a wooden one for now. We'll get something different. Don't worry. Don't worry. Oh, and then some filters. Let's grab some filters out of here. These are already configured. And I don't know if you know already, but if you put those in the crafting grid like that, it clears that filter. So if you've got these already set with something, I think these were for like, I don't know, moving items around or trying to put stuff in trash cans or whatever. But so we need a couple filters. Yeah. And then we're going to need some skulls. Yeah. Let's get an even number. I don't know how many we want to sort of test with. Nine maybe. Okay. And then we need some soul sand. So let's get, 
uh, look at a stack of that and then also want to get some dirt so I'm gonna get some dirt like so okay so that's that block placers blah 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 everything looks good there <laughs> all right so there's one more thing I'm gonna show you really quick because we're gonna need it and I'm gonna show you why I mean you're gonna find out why let's make some uh, wither proof isn't there some witherproof glass that we can do? It's mystical agriculture. We're not ready for that. I guess that's the only kind of witherproof. I guess we're going to have to make some of these. Um, I don't know. Do we need to make some of those? We need to make some reinforced obsidian. And I think we want to use this to make it. Uh, I'm not sure exactly how much we even need. All right, well, let's figure that out um, here a little bit later. So, oh, so the other thing that you can make with Awakened Draconium or with uh, Draconic Evolution are these crazy portals. So there's some of this Draconic or Draconium infused obsidian. Take a look at the recipe for that, right? It's some obsidian with some blaze powder and a piece of Draconium dust. I took a stack of ingots and ran it through the crusher to get Draconium dust. And then you need this thing, it's called a receptacle. Receptacle. This guy right here. So it's a piece of that infused obsidian, some iron, and another draconic core. And you get this. Yes. Um, do I have it? Let's see. Receptacle. I do. It's in there. And then you need one of these dislocators, which we built before. So let's go here, like so. Um, actually, let's... Let's make a new one, just in case. So let's go like this, go like that. We'll make one. Unbound. Okay, so let's head back into the nether, and we're going to see if we can't get this set up. We got redstone, we got all the stuff we need. Do we have some blocks? No, let's grab some blocks. Uh, we'll just get some, like, stone should work fine. Stone. Okay. All right, let's head over here into the nether. I've got one more thing set up in here that I want you to see. I mean, it feels like I've been rushing through the beginning of this episode. Trust me, what we just covered in a few minutes, I don't know, took about three or four hours to do. I'm not salty about it at all. I'm all right. I'm not grouchy, grumpy, mad, upset. <laughs> not too bad. All right, so up here at the top, well, let, let's go down here first. So you remember these dislocators, right? You shift right click in a spot. Like whatever block that you're sitting on, you shift right click on, and it binds this dislocator to this thing. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna walk inside here like this. We're gonna stand on this block right here, and we're gonna shift right click this guy. And now you see that this thing is bound to 57713, which is exactly the spot that we're on. Now, up here at the top of this, above this little deal, I have a square that's actually 7x7. Seven seven. So, it's a 5x5 five five open area here that's directly above the top of this. Now, it doesn't have to be here. This is just where I put it. And then we, we're going to finish the, the loop here. So, it's just made a square with this receptacle, right? And then we're going to click this guy like that. And as soon as we do that, we have ourselves a portal. See that? That's awesome. Now, if we jump in this thing, look where we show up. Right in here where that thing was bound. So check that out, man. Now, we, if we can pump other things through that portal, like, for example, a wither, then we can get it down there in front of that mob grinder and we can kill it. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to build ourselves up. So let's, go, let's actually use dirt. We're going to build ourselves up. And I think we're going to go up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I don't know. It doesn't really matter. I want to be up at least like 20 blocks. Okay. 20 blocks. That should work. All right. It doesn't matter. And it doesn't matter which way you're facing. So if I'm facing this way, when I come through that portal, I'm going to be facing the same way that I was. So like, for instance, if I drop down, all right, crappy thing, my raggedy old thing see doesn't matter which way I'm facing I'm always going to show right facing that guy so shouldn't be a shouldn't be that big of a deal as far as where we build this thing but we're going to build it facing this way I think this is okay I don't think it hurts anything to build it right here all right so that's on the edge which is where we want it let's move over here a second and then let's get some of these block placers going right so we're going to go block placer there hold a redstone torch to toggle 
Okay, that's okay. We'll leave it just like that. So that's that's these guys. We're gonna have to go back to the base in a minute and get some more. Oh dang it! I hate this jetpack. Oh my lord! Sometimes it's it's almost like you're not even flying. <laughs> that's how horrible this thing is. Let's go here, and we're gonna go like this. Okay. And then we'll go out on this side and play. So these these block placers here are going to be ones that are going to be creating the the soul sand. Now, if I remember correctly, from the last time I built this, you actually have to have a gap. Oh my goodness! Please, jetpack. All right, and now we're going to make ourselves a gap. I'm just going to build this out so we can place them. Because it doesn't work if you put them right on top. So we're going to go like this. And then these three guys are going to be the ones that are going to place the skulls. Yeah? Okay. All right, so that's that's that. So we got to set up a couple redstone-like um, systems here. Uh, because I think... Because we have to fire these three... Or no, excuse me. We have to fire these four. I don't think these guys take power. Or maybe they do. Do they take power? No, they don't. Okay, I wish we had a redstone torch. We don't have one. Uh, there's no chance that I have any wood or anything resembling wood. No sticks. No nothing. Okay. Well, we might have to jump off camera and go get that. But before we do that, we need to build ourselves a little bit of redstone-like contraption thing going on here. So we're going to go like this, 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 and we just sort of need a platform. Nothing can spawn up here. I've got that torch, and I think I'm still within torch range. One, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, and we'll go like that, and then maybe we'll come back a little bit. And now we might not need this all this real estate, but it's not going to hurt to have it. We just need some spots to put down some stuff. Okay, so we're going to do this. We're going to put down this timer. Let's see, let's put it, and we'll put it right here, all right? And we're gonna put like, just for now, like a 20 second delay on it, done, okay? And this thing should be pulsing like every 20 seconds, yep. All right, and now we wanna bring some redstone off this guy, so we're gonna bring some redstone this way, and we're gonna bring some redstone this way, because we've got two things that we've gotta get squared away here. All right, so now we've gotta climb up, right? So let's get some more stone. And then we're gonna go like this. And then we'll go up again. And then up again. And then we'll have an extra block here, okay? All right. And then we should just be able to put redstone dust. I mean, this is not, I mean, there's probably an easier circuit that we can make, one, two, three, okay. Okay, so that should work. So that's gonna fire that redstone every so often. So if I put, let me see if this works with a block in it. I don't remember. Let's put, um, yeah. So it puts that out there, right? And if I have, here, let's break this redstone really quick just so that we can load this thing up a little bit. If I put a piece, uh, like a piece here, oh. Redstone's deactivated. Okay, so we're going to have to go get a torch. Uh, we'll do that. So that's the first line. But before we can do that, I want to put in some repeaters, like so. And we're going to put those at max delay, right? So I want this thing to fire, and then I want this to be a little bit of a delay. Because this other redstone line is going to go... Let's see. Um, can we maybe just let's see how we want to do this? We need to get it up to there. So let's go. Um, uh, let's see how high. We want to go here, here, and then we want to be like here, right? And we can fill this out. Okay, let's see if this works. Let's just run one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then one, two, three. Okay, now if you watch this, right, the bottom one fires, then the top one fires. Oh, that's too much of a delay. Let's take out one of these guys and replace it. So we want the bottom, the top. Oh, we got to put this piece of redstone here. Okay, bottom, top, bottom, top. Okay, we probably want to put that delay back in just to make sure. So I know we're kind of like doing this, you know, we're sort of experimenting a little bit. Bottom, top, bottom, top, bottom, top. 
bottom top. Okay. We might even have to put in more delay, which we can do. I mean, we'll have to figure out how to run the redstone to get a little bit more delay. We could just loop it around. Because we, we really need to make sure that when you're spawning the wither automatically, automagically, that it it does soul sand, then heads. Soul sand, then heads. Okay. So let's go back to the base real quick. I want to get a redstone torch. Now you may be saying, hey, crazy dad craft, why are you spending all this time making this crazy setup? And I'll tell you, it's because we need nether stars to make that beacon. So we can manually kill. So we're all, this whole process, all the work that I've done today, is part of the steps we need to do to get that crazy beacon going. And plus it's pretty cool. But mainly because we need beacons. If we're going to make a tier 4 beacon, we're going to need nether stars to make it happen. So we need a redstone torch. Do we have any? We do. We just need one. Okay. And then we'll go back in the nether. Do I have uh, skulls? And I do. Okay. Alright. So now what we need is to change these crazy guys to make them... Come on, load. Oh man, are you kidding me? I've been having this issue where I zone into the nether and then nothing shows up. I'm not sure exactly why. Let me jump off camera. I just have to re-log. Let me do that quick and I'll be back with you in just a second. Alrighty, my friends. We are back. I think I've got this thing all set up. I had to go back and forth twice and re-log. <laughs> so I went and got a redstone torch, which was cool. I also got a lever because a lever actually allows you to turn this whole thing off if you want to. So let me clear out some stuff here. I think, I guess it doesn't really matter. Where's my all in one here. Let's grab this guy out of here, this guy out of here. Okay. So I have this thing set up. So nothing different than what we had last time. I've The only thing that I did is if you take a redstone, you see now these guys are pulse, right? If you click it with a redstone torch, it turns it to deact. So redstone deactivates it as opposed to pulses it. Just like the uh, atomic reconstructor. Same deal. So if I turn this on, oh, I wish I could kind of see it. Yeah, so you saw that delay there, right? So it placed soul sand first, and then it placed dirt, which is exactly how we want it to... Man, can you get over here? Crazy jetpack. So it did soul sand, dirt. And then if everything gets out of the way, it'll do soul sand, dirt again, right? And then it'll keep on, keep on keeping on, essentially forever, right? Uh, we need to change a couple things here. So first of all... This right here, this delay, we want it to be really high. So let's let's change it to, I don't know, like 10 seconds is 200 ticks. So let's do, let's actually do 600 ticks. No, uh, yeah, that's fine. We'll do 600 ticks for now because we're going to need some time to make sure this thing does what it does. Now, here's the problem that we might run into. So the weather's going to spawn, right? It's going to spawn right here, and it should start descending, right? It should just descend right down there, no worries whatsoever. I'm a little worried that the back end of our deal there is not where it needs to be. Let me get rid of all that stuff. So I think everything will be okay. So the wither's going to spawn, right? And then as soon as he spawns, he's going to start dropping. So the question is, will he drop fast enough where he will get to that portal before he explodes. So that's going to be the big question, I guess. So I don't know if we should... We should probably go get ourselves kind of geared up here. Because we might have to kill a wither. <laughs> I might have to go make me one of those crazy apples. But I don't know. Do we want to just test it? Because my plan was... I didn't want to necessarily make a whole... Like a big deal about... I didn't want to have like... Uh, what am I trying to say? Like a, a rail for this guy out of witherproof blocks. I would like to have, if I could, just like, you know, like maybe some guides for it. I don't, I don't think, I don't think, I don't know. I mean, it's probably safer to do it where you actually have guides. I mean, he's going to fall definitely there. I think it's going to be okay. So I don't know. I think what I'm going to do before we test this thing is I want to go off camera. I want to make some more witherproof blocks and I mean, maybe we'll just make a whole ton of them. And see if we can't make some guide rails for this guy to this wither to fall down on. I don't know if that's going to be a good idea or not. I bet it is. 
Better to be safe than sorry. Because if he explodes too early, he's going to... I hope, I don't know if we're far enough away, but he may target mobs over there. Or if there's a chicken that spawns down here or something. And then start going all haywire. And then our whole system gets crashed down. So, I tell you what, let me go make some more weatherproof blocks. I think I've got plenty of materials to make them. Let me go do that. I'm going to put in some guide, sort of like... Like bumpers, I guess, almost. And then we're going to fire this thing up and see if we can't spawn a wither. Let me do that. I'll be back with you in just a second. Alrighty, my friends, we are back. I got my bumpers installed. I made a two-block gap. I don't think a wither can come through a two-block gap. I think eventually, once I get the mystical agriculture glass fired up, I'll come in and, like, we'll retrofit this. I ran out of witherproof blocks. I don't have any more dark steel to make anymore. So, <laughs> I'm hoping for the best. I have a very secure, uh, unwither breakable cobblestone top to this. So, we'll see. I've got all this thing loaded up. I forgot. We almost had a problem. Well, not really a problem, but I forgot to add a redstone uh, signal into this guy. So, I think we're okay. I mean, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how we can split the signal. I think we're good. So, again, we have... When, this, when we flip the lever, the signal's going to come out, it's going to place the soul sand, and then a few seconds after that, or you know, partial seconds, it's going to place the heads. And then the wither should spawn, and this guy is set to a 300 or 6, so a 30 second delay. So that should give us time where the wither can spawn, it can drift all the way down, go through the portal, activate, get killed and then the next one should be coming. So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to do one here together. So let's click the button. We gotta wait for the delay. I was like, hey, what's going on there? We gotta wait for the delay, 30 seconds. Oh man, I hope this works. I hope this works. I hope it's not too far. If it is, we'll just move it, we'll just lay it, we'll just drop it down. We'll, you know, I'll go off camera, I'll build the whole thing again, we'll just drop it a few layers down. I'd rather be too high to start with than not high enough, I think. And I, oh, oh, there, okay, there's the wither. Okay, he's dropping down. Oh man, please get all the way down. That feels like it's a long time. I'm afraid he's going to activate and go crazy. Is he going to drop through? Oh! Oh, he blew up the thing. Oh, dang it. Okay. So he has to actually activate first. We have to try to kill him. I don't know if we can. Here. Oh, we don't have this thing anymore. Okay, where is he at? Oh, did he just get killed? Yeah, he got close enough to the thing and got killed. Okay, that was, that was lucky. <laughs> oh, okay. So it's actually not... Oh, here comes another wither. Dang it. Okay, we got to go down here. Can you come down here, please? Hi, Wither. Keep dropping. He just gets in range. He'll die. Oh my goodness, this is going to be trouble. Oh, and the other one's already coming behind it. Oh, we should turn that thing off. Oh, good grief. Okay. Um, I'm not sure exactly what to do. We have two active Withers. How's this guy doing? He's okay. We need to get that guy down here. Come on down here with me, wither guy. Okay. Oh my goodness. I don't even think we can get away. Okay. Um, so we have a bit of a problem. Have a little bit of a problem. He activated too soon. We actually have to drop the portal down because he has to activate before he bl he blew up the receptacle is what he did. Hi. Hi. Can you can you kill this guy? Yeah, you can. Okay, we'll just chill here. Where's the other guy? Hi. Come on, Silas the Wither. Come on down here with me. I'm just chilling. Okay, this is not ideal. Okay, let's go down here. See if we can get him to come. Yeah, so we have to we have to drop the portal some, I think, and that will solve it. So he has to be active because what he did is he well, hmm, I think that'll work. He he activated at the last second, so it should have been down a couple more. Yeah, okay, you're dead. <laughs> get dead. Okay, so we know that our our deal works there, and we I mean, it wasn't too brutal. I mean, it wasn't great either. 
get some chrome things. Okay, so that actually worked pretty good with one exception. We actually have to drop the portal down a little bit. Hi. Okay, so we have to drop the portal down a little bit and allow him to activate before he goes through the portal. So that shouldn't be a big deal. The only downside is it takes like 18 years to break these blocks. Man, they're no joke. But I think we can vein mine them. The problem is, is when we make them, when we break them, they're going to be gone. So I don't know what would be easier. Uh, probably be easier than to make all that stuff again. To just rebuild this thing actually needs to go higher. That's what needs to happen. This thing needs to be like another 10 blocks higher. Because he needs to activate before he goes through the portal. So it's just a timing thing. It was a little dangerous timing thing. We probably shouldn't try to spawn three withers. We'll probably just start with one <laughs> next time. But it worked, right? We definitely had a wither and we had a chain going. So we know that our function, our, our stuff works here. I think actually I'm going to lower. I'd rather not tear that down because I know that that works. So we just need to tear this down. So I'm going to break these guys. Break these draconium infused blocks and you're if we start hammering on one you'll see that they take forever so let me get that done i'll break these we'll build this thing another like i don't know 10 blocks lower and hopefully that'll buy us enough time where he can spawn he can continue to drop through and then he'll get killed down below so let me do that i'll be back with you in just a second Alrighty, my friends we are back i added about 10 rows i guess so the portal was like here, so I guess one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I think it's going to be enough. I hope, man. I hope. I mean, we can go a little bit lower, but I don't want to go too much lower. I got my portal fired back up here, and I've got all the stuff I ha need in my inventory to spawn ourselves a wither. So I want to make sure that this is... Oh, no, off. Okay, let's make sure it doesn't fire. We've got ten seconds here. state off okay so that should be oh i think it needs to be on yeah okay all right Whew. <laughs> we almost had ourselves a disaster on our hands okay so i have a bunch of wither skulls but i'm just gonna we're just gonna spawn one let's not get all crazy and almost kill ourselves like we did the last time so let's get these guys in there like so okay and then we're gonna put this and this whoops nope Yep, okay. And this. And then this. Okay, and then we should be able to fire this guy up one more time. And it should work this time flawlessly. Oh, I hope so. <laughs> that was sort of embarrassing. It almost worked. It just, he spawned right at the end. So let's turn this on. We got 20 seconds or so. We should see him spawn and then start falling. And then he should go active probably like right here. And I'm hoping that that's high enough where it misses. I've kind of, hopefully I've got this thing shielded. So he should be spawning literally in a second. Let's see. Yep. Okay. So he spawned. He's dropping down. We want to back up a little bit. I don't want to be too close to him whenever he goes active. Okay. Come on, baby. Go active now. Okay. He's still dropping. He's still dropping. And he's dead. <laughs> that worked like a dream, baby. Oh, I love it. Okay. And I also, before I started recording again, I set up another one of these mob grinding utilities absorption hoppers. And there's all our goodies in there. We had, like, some pigmen issues. Um, I think when that other wither spawned, he blew up my torch because I had pigmen all over the place. Okay. So that worked like a dream. I love that. Now, let's get this thing set up one more time and we're going to have it spawn spawn multiple withers. Okay. So I, I should be able to get three. I'm going to have to get my skull farm fired back up. So we're going to put three in there, three in there. Oh, no. Okay. We don't want this thing to go crazy. Okay. And then we need... Like that, like that, like that. Okay? And then three here, three there, three there, and three there. Okay, now, we should be able to turn this on. It should fire the first one, like, almost immediately. Yep, there's the first one. J-Bams, the Wither, doing his deal. Let's go up above. 
I think we can get up high enough. We should still be able to see him drop in. Yeah, we can still see him. Okay. So, okay. Gone. And another one should be coming. So we can fine-tune the timing a little bit. We could have essentially multiples dropping down there. Okay. Okay. Slow poke. Spawned. All right, and then a few seconds later, we have, should have our last one. Then we should go down there. We should be have, okay, yeah. So let's see what the timer's at. So that was about, what, uh, 15 seconds? We could double the timer and make it process every 15 seconds. So do three, like 300 ticks. But the next one should be coming here in a minute. And I'm okay with that speed for now. I mean, we could set this up, and in the span of, you know, an hour or so have just stacks on stacks and nether stars. But we could try to crank it up a little bit faster than that. Get them spawning maybe every 10 seconds. So essentially every few seconds one is going active. And he should be dead in a second. Yep, dead. Oh man. Do you see how awesome that is? Oh, it's so crazy. That works perfect. So there you go. There's like an automated wither, wither spawning slash killing setup. It's not that difficult to put together. Let's take a look here. There's all our goodies. Oh, what is the deal here? This like there? Okay. So it's not that big of a deal to put together. You know, it's just a matter of getting our timing right and our distance. So let's see. Um, if we go... Uh, do I have like a block? Yeah. Let me use a piece of soul sand. So, the, so just so you know, the portal is at Y91. So I'm standing on... Actually, let's take a look here and see. So... Facing, um, where's looking at? All right, let me, well, I'm going to say Y91, right? So Y91 is where the portal's sitting at. Let's go up here. And then the wither gets spawned at what? So he's like right here. So the wither gets spawned at Y24. So he drops a good 30 blocks, right? So 21 to, yeah. So about about 32 blocks, I guess, he drops. And we could probably tighten in our tolerances a little bit and make it so it wasn't quite so far of a drop. But, man, I think that's, I'd rather be safe than sorry. And there's no reason that we can't have, like, a couple withers coming down here at one time. Right, so we can reduce our timer maybe to 10 seconds and spawn one, and he's dropping, and then the next one comes in, he's dropping, the one below goes active, he dies, etc., etc. We don't want to get too greedy though. Man, that works like a dream. I love it. Let me show you really quick if you want to see, just so you have any questions. Here's the redstone. I mean, it could be compacted for sure, but it works for our purposes. So we've just got a line of redstone across the top, a line of redstone across these three, and a line going into this guy. These are all set to pulse, which means they'll take a redstone signal and, and run. And then I'm delaying the heads to be delivered to the sandstone or soul stone by two repeaters set at full delay. So there you go. There you go. Super simple. I mean, it's a lot of resources. It's, it's easy to build. But it's a lot of resources for sure. Oh man, let's let's end the episode right here in the Nether, facing this. Let's turn around. Look, my eyes are all crazy. <laughs> man, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it so much. Until next time, please remember to be cool, don't be a fool, and from the sky where we're chilling in the Nether, killing withers like a boss. I guess we'll see you next time. Bye, everybody. Mm -hmm.